and welcome back this video is going to be relatively quick and it's going to cover the fuselage fuel system and installing the switch that you see me working on now the fuel selector switch as well as creating the uh, fuel lines and installing the fuel pump itself one of the things I'm kind of trying to find out right now is if the fuel pump that came with the kit is sufficient I'm I'm getting I'm going to be installing the the I'll call it the upgraded engine the experimental Lycoming uh, I think it's a 390 experimental 250 or something like that um, and one thing I'm trying to find out is if this pump is adequate um, I've, I've seen others install upgraded pumps and I think that I'm going to be using an electronic fuel injection uh, module or whatever it is I haven't quite looked into it yet but my understanding is it's a slightly higher pressure requirement but when I called vans they said that everything that they you um, uh, use for engines is uh, this pump that they provide is sufficient for it so I've got to do some some investigations I I think that I'm okay based on my discussions with vans but uh, one of the things that I've seen other builders do is upgrade this particular pump. I think that even if I do decide to upgrade the, this pump later, that it's not, uh, I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue, but uh, let me know down below if you have any experience with these pumps, whether or not they're sufficient, uh, what, you know, what your thoughts are. Uh, I'm... I've been kind of building this airplane to this point by the book. I've not really looked into upgrading anything or modifying anything. I've just basically whatever is provided in the kit, that's what I put into my airplane. Now, as far as avionics and things like that goes, that's stuff that I can obviously uh, plan for and build to that kind of thing. But as far as the mechanical stuff, everything up to this point I've not really delved into what can be modified what can be improved um, and so we'll see I, I like I said I, I think after talking to the the folks at Vans I think that the pump that I have is sufficient but it's something I'll have to look into so here you see me just working on the rest of the fuel system um, one of the uh, I, this is one of those parts where you kind of have to be obviously real precise. The, the instructions have, I think this first bend I'm working on here is like 27 degree bend. And obviously on this bending tool, that's not an increment. So you just kind of have to guess and, and then formulate and, and, and match against the drawing and see that you've got it set correctly. And then one of the other things I came across is just spatial recognition, I think, and in that trying to make sure that I'm bending the, the correct direction and uh, actually had to redo the right side uh, fuel line uh, twice because I, I just kept missing the mark so it's just one of those things and, uh, and then also you, you really have to remember to install the fittings onto the line before you make some of these bends because it just doesn't um, doesn't work so a couple things you got to pre-plan and, and make sure that you're taken into account when you're constructing these this is another tool um, you've seen me use it before in the fuel lines for the the fuel tank um, this is a the, the the spreader basically it creates the the flange at the end of the fuel line and you do want to make sure that you get the aircraft specific it's my understanding it's a it's a different angle than is used in auto fuel lines and, and things like that um, so you want to make sure you get the specifically an aviation um, tool and then also uh, be very careful that you don't overdo it um, in, in that you could damage the flange and create cracks and things like that so it's uh, I pick, I think I picked that one up from Aircraft Spruce where I pick up most of my tools but also uh, I think it's uh, Brown Tools or something like that is another aviation site that I use quite a bit to get tools and they actually have some really good uh, discounted prices so here I'm installing the fuel switch fuel selector switch and it's it's uh, 
looking back, I, I haven't painted the interior of this as of yet from this video. And I, I kind of think that I should have done that before I got into this process. So in the next couple of videos, you're going to see me installing some of the inner workings of the airplane. And looking back now, I should have waited and painted at this step before I started installing any of the fuel lines. It would have been a little easier. But it's just a little more masking off and, and a lot more paper that, you, that I had to use just to kind of prevent from spraying things I didn't want to do. This piece here is just working on the line that goes from the fuel selector switch to the fuel pump, well, the fuel filter attached to the fuel pump. And then the one part that I didn't get video of was creating the fuel line from the pump to the firewall. So this section is actually relatively quick and easy. I think I did the entire thing in one day and it's just a matter of, of making sure that you're paying attention to the angles and in the directions. Now, one thing I will recommend is this tool here is a cutting uh, pipe cutting tool. You don't want, obviously you don't want to use um, any kind of um, uh, diagonal cutters or anything like that because all you do is you end up cripping the line. So, again, with um, fuel lines, you want to have the the line cutter, the the pipe cutter, and then this tool, uh, specifically an aviation flange tool, and uh, that'll help. So, anyway, like I said, this is a quick and easy fuel line fuselage system uh, video quickly getting to where I'm actually at now getting caught up in these videos for those who continue to watch these I do appreciate it if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them below and as always for those that are new thank you for joining the, the uh, site or the the video channel here and we'll see you next time